Happy Wednesday. Welcome back to a brand new I Rate Your Teams. Let's get into some team talk. For cheap, fast and reliable FIFA 20 Ultimate Team coins, check out u7buy.com and use the code HABER to get yourself 5% off all of your orders. I thought that was really cool. I don't know why, but I thought just saying team talk, it sounded cooler in my head than it did out loud. I do apologize if that was cringy. I want to start off talking about my team, first of all, because you know what? It's about time I took the limelight away from you. I'm kidding. Um, so... I, as you guys know, packed a prime Maldini the other day. Uh, I've, I've sold him. We're on 6 million coins right now. And this is the current squad that I'm thinking of building. Ryan Kent is there. Mainly as a placeholder. He actually might be a card that I genuinely look to put left wing. Um, but I'm looking at Team of the Akante as a potential player. Now, I think EA are currently listing up cards because he was genuinely... There was, there was like three getting listed up every like, I don't know, maybe, maybe... Uh, every every five minutes and now there's loads getting listed up like if he goes under if i see one under three mil i'm gonna buy it simple as because i don't think that he'll uh he'll be less than that and that three more I, I was gonna buy it but i missed it i want your advice on where i should go with my team after this now obviously being a massive team of the year upgrade with kante i don't know where else to upgrade i'll have around three million coins to upgrade with I think, roughly, if we get that one, which we did, 2.99. I can't see this card going lower than that. I mean, he will for a little while, but I can see it rebounding higher. I don't know what else to do with the rest of this team. Now, I have, in my opinion, two of the best CDMs in the game. Now, Primatize is obviously an upgrade that could be made, but I don't see the point making it right now. Uh, I have Eusebio up top with Pele. Uh, Messi and Ryan Kent are two cams. I play four triple two. Where do I upgrade this team? Do I wait for team of the year wingbacks and go with Trent and Robertson? Or I want to keep Fel and Mendy, preferably. But do I go with like Trent at right back? Do I upgrade the centre-backs to different icons? Do I uh, sell Eusebio and get 94 Ronaldo, R9 Ronaldo? Um, please give me your feedback and your suggestions in the comments down below. I'll be reading all the comments this episode, so please give me your feedback. Um, and without further ado, let's get into your teams. I'd like to interrupt this video to talk to you guys about Profit Accumulator. Now, they hit me up a couple weeks ago and asked me to do a sponsored deal in a video for them talking about their service and give you a, an honest review of what it is. Now, uh, essentially what it is, it's matched betting, which isn't actually gambling because when you do it correctly, you genuinely can't lose. I've actually known about matched betting for a while now. Uh, they've been going since 2014 and have had hundreds of thousands of people on their website uh, making money for the past four years, which is a GG. And right now they're offering a free trial of their service without needing to sign up with a debit or credit card. So we're going to start a free trial straight away because apparently you can earn over £40. So... Let's give it a go. Now, once you've signed up, it will give you a bunch of different things to sort of do. Now, you can do the tutorial one, the tutorial two, uh, the tutorial three, which is a qualifying bet. And once you get through all three of these, uh, which one of them is actually uh, the first offer that you get, you can actually go ahead and do uh, three more offers, another one from Coral, one from Betfred, and one from Smart Markets, um, which guarantee you actual profit. So uh, the guaranteed profit for the uh, for the second Coral free bet is, is £16, and then £24 from the Betfred one, and then Smart Kits, I believe it's called, uh, gives you a £7.50 guarantee. Uh, it's really, really easy, actually. So if you really want to go and make £40 for free and you're 18 plus and live in the UK, use my link in the description. If you need more information on that, what I will do is leave a link to this video in the description. What this video is, is a tutorial, essentially. Um, and it's a, just a lot of advice I can give you on how it all works. Uh, I can promise you now, this isn't a scam. It, it, you know, it, there's no scam about it. You don't have to add your credit card details or anything like that onto it. I would give it a go if you're looking to get some free cash. Um, I swear it will take you maybe like 20, 30 minutes of your day and you can go and walk away with 40 quid for free. And if you're really into it and you really like it and you really want to go for it, people on their site have been making over a thousand pounds a month. It's actually possible to make over a thousand pounds a month just from this, but their typical user makes a couple hundred pounds a month extra, just a bit of extra cash really. And remember, you don't need to know anything about sports or sports betting. You, you can do it all via their tutorial. They teach you everything you need to know I highly advise it. Just want to say I am very grateful to you guys for putting me in a position to be able to take sponsored deals like this and be offered sponsored deals like this too. Uh, I'm very, very grateful for you guys. You guys have honestly been uh, an amazing part of my life and I am, I'm just very grateful uh, from the bottom of my heart. Uh, if it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be able to accept sponsored opportunities like this 
And it's just, it's amazing. It's an amazing feeling to know that I've got so many people behind me and backing me. So thank you all for that. And uh, enjoy the irate your teams. We're going to start off with Mason's team. By the way, I didn't tweet out today when I was recording irate your teams. I wanted to record it without tweeting it out to give people that don't follow me on Twitter a bit more of a chance of getting in the episode. When I tweet it out, it gets absolutely filled up with people on Twitter. I will tweet it out more and more as time goes on. Uh, this won't be a regular occurrence. I just feel for once wanted to have an episode where it's people that maybe don't follow me on Twitter, uh, aren't always on Twitter and can't see my tweets all the time. I want to give them a chance of being uh, involved too because this, this series is about involving everyone in my opinion. Anyway, Mason's team. The second is my team in game. I have 700,000 coins. I'm willing to grind for icon swaps and uh, Ramos and Rob uh, Robertson, Mane, Martial, Trippier, Dembele and Longley are tradable. Hope you had a great, great Christmas New Year. Thanks. Uh, and any, I'm up for any recommendations. I can't even... Can't even speak today. Well, thank you very much, Mason. Appreciate the kind words. Uh, I like the team. I actually like I like the look out of it. Uh, this Juan Mata card, I think I submitted it to a base icon SBC on stream due to peer pressure. Massively regret it. I love that card so much. Now, the first things first, I would actually recommend playing Martial at striker over Mane. I think Mane is way better as a winger than Martial. Mane's got more agility and balance, and I think that he'll just he'll work better cutting inside. Maybe he's coming in to, to pass across the goal or something. I think Mane will work better there. Um, with 700,000 coins, now you do have room for some pretty good improvements in my opinion. First things first, I would say for icon swaps, I'd go with Zambrotta. So you've got the icon link over here because you don't have to worry then about uh, Theo Walcott. And then you can upgrade Theo Walcott. In my opinion, I don't know if you can afford Messi quite yet. Let me just check if uh, if Messi is down to under 700k yet. If you can, I'd pick up Messi. Um, he's 950k. Wow, he's actually retained his price. Now, my second option would have been Usmane Dembele who is about 800... Wow, okay. Well, you're on Xbox, so 720k is actually more affordable for you. This card... I've played against this card. I've played against this card. I've played against this card. Usman Dembele this year is just ridiculous. He is absolutely ridiculous. Uh, and he's so difficult to defend against. I think would be a huge improvement over there on your right wing. Of course, uh, alternatively, 700k could be spread out evenly across the team, whether that be upgrading um, Ramos to a better version of Ramos, maybe maybe the team of the year nominee, whether that's, um, I don't know, grading, grading Robertson to team of the year nominee Robertson or or getting the team of the year Robertson if he's under 700k kind of thing. Um, but in my opinion, a bold move would be to upgrade Walcott in my opinion because uh, although Walcott's good in game, I actually do like Walcott this year. Usman Dembele is ridiculous this year. He's just he's just broken. Anyway, nice team ride. I like the colourful uh, nature of the team. I really like the colourful teams. I don't know why. They just they attract me a lot. Um, anyway, Ferdinand's team next. He's got 20,000 coins. The left back, both centre backs, Taliso, Brandt and Royce are tradable. Love from Norway. Thank you very much, bro. Uh, how is Norway? I actually want to travel a lot this year. I want to visit places like Norway, Sweden, um, you know, countries in Europe that I've never visited and never thought about visiting. So... Please, let me know. Um, that team is nice. I like the link up. Now, I'm not entirely sure about playing Vardy and, and King there. You only have 20,000 coins. What I would recommend doing is picking up uh, Werner, a uh, striker, just normal Werner. Now, I don't see huge differences between Werner and Vardy personally. I'm not a big advocate for Vardy this year. I'm really not. I'm just not a big fan of him. Uh, I, I I do like Werner this year. So I'd say pick up Werner over there at striker. And then at Cam, you've got a whole host of different options. Now, you could go with a German and play a German off, off chemistry. You could just go with um, any Bundesliga Cam. Uh, in terms of Bundesliga, Bundesliga Cams in this game, I can't even speak. Um... Now, for your prize cup, I don't actually, I can't actually really think if there is any amazing ones. Um, now, obviously, when you start to gain more coins, you'll have people like Scream Muller or Inform Coutinho, pe people like that. For now, I'd say possibly picking up Norman Muller because he's got a good shot on him. Um, you could go with with uh, Sabitzer if you save up enough coins to get this Sabitzer card. Um, there's a few different options you can go with. Kai Havertz, if you've not already got him, which you haven't, Kai Havertz is a good option as well. Uh, I would say uh, possibly just upgrading to, to plays that will get full chemistry. I like the layout of this team, though. Um, and hopefully you get an SBC or an objective player soon that will give you the ability to get a really good Bundesliga player in the squad. Fingers crossed. Nice team, though. I like it. Now it's time for Mar Shadow's team. I have Inform Mertens up top. Where? <laughs> I'm joking. Um, I play a 4 2 one In trade was in belly, both icons and the left back. Trying to grind for gold. Mane and Robertson getting Hierro and Van der Sar uh, and Zambrotta. First things first, who is this man and why do you have him there? Why? Why on earth do you have him there? I need, I need to know who this guy is. Is he like some really OP player? Am I Am I silly? What is, what is, uh, what is going on here? All right, Silver Rare, Jao Victor. Is this card just ridiculously good or something? 88 pace, 74 dribbling. 
four star skills five bro why have you got a, there's no need in my opinion uh i would say first things first now you have how many coins doesn't say but you're going for Zambrot and Hierro. I would say grade this guy over here. You can go with anyone, literally anyone. You can go with Komen, you can go with Martial. When I say anyone, I mean anyone that's either uh, French or from the Bundesliga. Um, you can go with Komen, you can go with Martial, you can go with any, uh, you can you can possibly get informed Griezmann if you've got the coins. Uh, I would say upgrade your left mid, definitely. Um, I'd also say possibly just save up towards getting uh, Varane over either Longley or Eder Militao, whichever one you, you dislike the most. Uh, I would say Varane is a definite great upgrade for this squad. And possibly just going, just grinding towards icon swaps. Obviously, you're getting Zambrotto and Van der Sar. If you get enough tokens, maybe you'll be able to replace Kaka if Kaka is untradeable. If, sorry, if Kaka is tradable. If he's untradeable, then... I'd probably just leave it. Apart from that, I think the team's solid. I do. Uh, and you probably told me that Kaka's untradeable, didn't you? Both icons. Yep, I'm stupid. I'm sorry. I haven't had a lot of sleep. Uh, the next one's from Luke, who says, 100k for upgrades. No one is untradeable. Okay, a full a full tradable team. I like it. All right. So uh, this is what you play in game, right? You play a 4-3-2. How is a 4-3-2-1 in game? That's actually really interesting. I have genuinely never played against this, this formation in game. This is crazy, though. I imagine you've probably got good tactics to where these three just become one unit going forward, which is kind of scary to think about. Uh, what I would do with this team, how many coins did you say you had again? 100,000 coins. I would say the only realistic upgrades you can make in this, I mean, if any, really. Um, I mean, no, I don't even think there is any upgrades you can make to this team with 100k. I just save. I just save your coins to be honest. Upgrade plays where you can uh, to the better versions. Maybe a better version of Mertens, better version of uh, Allen. Uh, upgrade Nakata to a better centre mid when you can eventually. Um, people like Baby Blanc are fantastic if you can get him in icon swaps. Um, this, by the way, this is Dan on the bench. I can't believe the amount of people that have commented on the last few episodes saying that this guy's got Zidane on the bench, just use him. It's a seven game loan. As soon as you've played him for seven games, you can't use the card again. I know it's a seven-game loan because everyone's got him on their bench because everyone got the same seven-game loan from season objectives. I, I think it's crazy. I, it blows my mind how many people genuinely put in the comments like in a in a toxic way just to use it down. Why are you telling him to upgrade when he's got it down on the bench? Like, <laughs> yeah, but no, I'd say I'd say just upgrading upgrading plays are the better version of the players. To be honest, like. Um, Realistically, De Jong's probably the best version of the card you can get that gets full chemistry there that you can use at central centre mid, to be honest. Uh, you've got the right plays in the right spots, just upgrading them to better version of the players, I guess. Uh, it's a nice team. I like that. Next one's from Malk, who says, got 86,000 coins, and I'll play the same formation in game. Modric, Bulaya, Jimenez, Verratti, and Mares, I'm guessing, are untradeable. Um, okay. Ooh, that's an interesting squad. William Jose, why? Not a fan. Don't see the point, personally. Uh, I think that you could either go with Griezmann up top and get the full link to uh, to De Jong, or you can go with Benzema up top and move Modric and De Jong over. Apart from that, um, how many coins did you say you had again? You had 86k. Yeah, I'd say you get Griezmann at striker and get rid of William Jose. Um, I'd also probably just say try, try and get Nelson Semedo over here at right back. I really like Nelson Semedo this year. Aside from that, I think the team's solid, definitely. Uh, the next one from Surface, or Surface, Surface, who says, I play a 4-2-3-1 in game. I have 100k for improvements. Salah and Kante, uh, Robertson, Cancelo, and Socrates are tradable. Keep up the good work. Thank you very much, man. Appreciate that. Red Red Aguero. Okay, I, I respect it. Get rid of older VO straight away. Bring in either um, Davinson Sanchez, Joe Gomez. Uh, you said you had 100k. Um... Those two are good options. Is, is, how much is Scream Otter Mendy these days? Uh, I don't actually know how much this card is. The market has kind of gone crazy. I don't even know what prices things are anymore. 187k. Bit too much for your price range. But I'd say get rid of Old Rio for one of the better strikers. Um, I'd also say Aguero is great. I would probably bring in a better super sub than Jamie Vardy. Uh, maybe getting yourself like a... I mean, I was going to say Josh King, but Josh King expired ages ago. I don't know why they, that thought even crossed my mind. Um, I'd wait maybe to get a better super sub than Jamie Vardy. I personally see that you've only got one striker as your super subs. And Aguero is quite slow. And if I remember, not got amazing stamina. So he might struggle. Uh, apart from that, the team is really nice. This is really well laid out. I like it a lot. 
Trossard is one card I do need to do. I keep forgetting, and the card looks so good, and he always plays really well against me. I just want to get him as a super sub, to be honest. I keep forgetting to get him. Anyway, the next one's from Donovan, who says, I love your content. Keep it the good work. I have 140k. Everyone is tradable except Jakiri, Bale, Raul, and my bench. Open to upgrades. I use the same formation in-game. Okay. Oh, my God. This is a little bit a little bit blurry. Um, you say formation in-game. What would I do with this team? I would say... I would personally just upgrade Fernandinho. Now, coins-wise, you said you had 140k. What is normal Kante going for these days? Is he still in the 200s? I hope he's not. Is he? Yeah, he's 220. If you can grind towards getting 220k to get normal Kante, I'd recommend it. Apart from that, I think your team is really nice, and I'd keep it the way it is apart from that. Uh, the next one from Bobby, who says, Hey man, love the vids, keep it the good work. I'm going to do Lineker from Icon Swaps. Untradables are Benzema, Lineker, Kent, Guardiola, Politano, Diego Carlos, Florenzi, and the whole bench. I have 90,000 coins uh, for upgrades. Thanks, man. Hey, no worries, dude. Now, first things first, I think it's Florenzi can go. Uh, I don't actually like Florenzi in this game. I think you go for Zambrotta in Icon Swaps. Oh, you're getting Lineker, aren't you? How many tokens is Lineker? Um, can I check from here? I don't know. I don't know how to check. To be honest, uh, I'll go. I'll go into here real quick and I'll check how many tokens Lineker is. Gary Lineker. How, he's fourteen. How many is uh, Zambrotta again? Zambrotta is eleven. Oh, you can't get them both. That's so annoying. Because Zambrotta would upgrade your team massively. Can you? Uh, I guess you're getting the link to Kent. Actually, true. I would say. Uh, hmm. This is a tricky one. This is a tricky one. Because I like the layout of the team. I actually like the way the team is. I just don't think Florenzi is very good. I think if you can upgrade Florenzi to a better right back from the from the City R, there isn't really many. But if you can find one, I'd say that... May, honestly, I'd upgrade into Mal. I think Malqui is better than Florenzi. Um, aside from that, the team is really nice. I like, I like the Lineker... I'd go for another icon as well. Just anyone, literally anyone. Um, it's always nice just to have them in the club. Maybe the worst case scenario, you use it in SBC. I don't know. Um, but it's always nice to have them in the club. Apart from that, I think the team's solid. Uh, the next one's from literally nobody. Great. Okay, literally nobody. Uh, I have 50,000 coins and I'm on PC. Long lay, Dembele, Griezmann, Semedo and Robertson are tradable. Love you, bitch. Thank you very much, bro. Appreciate that. Hey, hey, that is a HD crispy screenshot. Let's go. I like that, Fidel. I wish I did it and I didn't. I'm so silly for not doing it because it was super cheap as well. Uh, what would I change in this team? Maybe Leroy Sane. Uh, maybe to Mane. Uh, apart from that, I don't see a change I could make. The team is super nice. Yeah, I just say I just say change Leroy Sane to Mane. And then at least you're getting full cam on everyone as well. Um, apart from that, I think the team's solid, to be honest, mate. It's a, it's a nice built team. Next one coming from Mikey. This is my team. I have 27,000 coins to work with. Benyeda, Rashford, Lukaku, Robertson, Fabinho, Dabala, Goretzka, Lozano, Maguire, Oshiman, Chong, and Gomez are untradeable. And I'm not a very good player. I don't do icon swaps because I don't have time. Totally understand. Totally, totally understand. So you start with this and you play this in game. Where would I upgrade the team now? How many coins do you say? 27,000. This is the problem, guys. A lot of you guys send me your teams and you like, have 20k to upgrade. And there isn't players on this game that are 20k that are worth your time, in my opinion. Uh, you know, realistically, you could maybe upgrade Lindelof to buy. Or Lindelof to... Literally, yeah, just buy. Inform Maguire is too slow, so probably just buy. If that, I mean, there's no upgrade you can make realistically there because there isn't any Spanish uh, Prem centre backs, and you can't go for uh, for Hierro because you can't, you don't have time to do icon swaps. Um, again, like so, so that that first of all, that's out the window. Uh, I don't like Jamie Vardy, but you've got 27k. There realistically isn't anyone you can upgrade to uh, that's better than Jamie Vardy. Um, if Andy playing him off Chem. I mean, the only thing I could possibly see you do here, maybe, is. Get yourself Lacazette over Vardy. Get full chemistry on everyone and then play Benyedder up top and Lacazette as Cam. Apart from that, I don't really see anything else you can do. It's a, it's a nice team. It's just like it's difficult to upgrade teams with uh, with 27,000 coins to work with, in my opinion. Next one's from Nathan Tomlinson, who says, My attack and midfield are untradeable. Robertson is two, Robertson is two but VVD, Ramos, Carvajal are tradable. I have 110,000 coins thinking of getting Coleman in icon swaps. I would say so. I'd say Coleman's a good shout. Um, Coleman also gives you a bit more freedom. No, actually, it doesn't really. You can literally go with anyone at the right back anyway. Uh, I'd say get, honestly, probably get Zambrotta and Coleman. Um, I'd then possibly... Hmm, yeah. I would then play 
this card at a striker and play Griezmann at left. No way, that doesn't that still doesn't get you full chem, does it? You could play Griezmann left forward, Benzema at left centre mid. Uh, no, again, that doesn't work, does it? I'm an idiot. I'm I'm kind of stupid right now. Yeah, I see why you've gone with that route because no one else gets full chemistry anyway, so it doesn't really matter. I I see that now. Uh, I think the team is crazy though. Four two four two four in game. That's uh that's pretty crazy, bro. That's pretty out there. Let me know how you play that in game though. And the last one for this episode is going to come from Nicholas. I have two hundred and fifty k, and all my team is untradeable except Dembele and Griezmann. Love you, Vids. Thank you very much, Nicholas. Appreciate that. I said Nicholas, by the way. I don't, I don't know what came out of my mouth there, but it definitely was Nicholas. Um, okay. How many coins have you had again? Two fifty k. I like you utilizing Iniesta. I love when people utilize free free card, no money card, should I say? Uh, I would say upgrade Longley to Varan. I would then also say that is it for the team for now. I think that team is solid. That team is really nice in game. Uh, I like that a lot. The team is pretty solid. And that's it for this episode. If you guys have enjoyed, please leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new around here. I will be tweeting out in future when I'm recording it. Uh, I decided this time not to tweet out uh, just because... To be honest, guys, I feel like a lot of people are trying to utilize this series just to, uh, for the wrong reasons. This series, in my eyes, is supposed to be actually helping with teams, giving inspiration for teams. Other people can watch it and think about things to do for their teams. A conversation gets made. I feel like there's a lot of people that are so, I don't know if desperate is the word, but they want to just be on the screen. They want to just get the attention as opposed to actually have their team rated. And it's just kind of becoming the, the 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 wrong thing. So from now on, I'm going to try my best to try and include more differentiated squads and more different people and stuff like that. Um, whether that be just recording at different times, testing things out, I'm not entirely sure. If you don't like it, I do apologize. But just remember, this series isn't to just feature you on the screen. It's to actually give people help for their squads. So if you're getting angry because you're not getting featured on the screen, then unfortunately, you're actually watching it for the wrong reason, In my in my opinion. I appreciate everyone that's showing support in this series, though. And if you guys disagree, please let me know in a constructive manner in the comments. I'd love to hear your feedback. Uh, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you later.